Mike Ruth is a tough and talented college football player, one of the best in the country, in fact. The scouts say that he has a good shot at making the pros, but as Lee McCarthy reports, Ruth has set his sights higher. Devuli and Sikahema are the backs in Sikahema in the pattern, but he is pulled down by guess who? Mike Ruth. Oh my goodness, what a performance by Mike Ruth tonight. Number 68, Mike Ruth, has been performing at nose guard for the Boston College football team for four years. He is big and tough, 6 feet 2 and 265 pounds. And because he can bench press 580 pounds, Ruth is considered the strongest college player in the country. In this year's opening game against defending national champion Brigham Young, Ruth, whose nickname is the Sultan of Sack, established himself as the dominant defensive lineman in college football. Can play rush on Bosco and Ruth gets in. Robbie Bosco, BYU's All-American quarterback and Heisman Trophy candidate, was sacked by Ruth four times. He's as strong as a player as I, that I've ever played against, you know, that's been on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, he's very quick and, you know, he moves to the ball very well. Mike Ruth is having an All-American year, one which pro scouts say will make him a high choice in the NFL draft. Oh, he can definitely play. He's, he's exactly the prototype of the NFL nose tackle. He is like the nose tackle that the coaches are looking for. He's a fierce competitor. But there is another gentler side to Mike Ruth. He is a quiet, shy person, a good student who is majoring in theology. Mike Ruth wants to be a priest. I wouldn't mind being uh, going into maybe some, some missionary type work or and I'm not talking about out in the jungles of Africa. I'm talking about right here. For now, Mike Ruth is concentrating on football. He eats eight meals a day and lifts weights an hour each day to make himself as big and strong and tough as he can. Ruth says there is no contradiction between wanting to be tough and wanting to be a priest. The gentle guy who walks around and reads the Bible and looks at the trees all day just won't survive in this world. Oh, hit! nasty at times and it's hard at times and the football field is just sort of a mini capsule of that you know, the odds are against you and the situations against you and you still have to struggle and fight it's a very clear uh, example of just how God works the sport Mike Ruth sees as a parable of life will soon be offering him fame and fortune is it a tempting lure being a, a for Joe football star and uh, you know and, and being wealthy or being famous or being all that stuff, you know, I had a chance to get a glimpse of what that's like. And I uh, really found out, boy, that's just not enough to, to make this life worthwhile. There's something more in it. But pro football may still be in Mike's future. His mother, Sally, his biggest fan, has crippling arthritis. A big signing bonus and a fat contract would enable him to make her financially comfortable. So Ruth could sign up with the Patriots or Bengals or some other NFL team. But his campus advisor is convinced he'll eventually face a more spiritual draft. Somebody is going to get him. Uh, whether it be the pastness of a Franciscans or the Dominicans or some diocese, somebody is going to get him, I'm sure. And Mike Ruth tends to agree. And you know, you're here for 70 years. And uh, those 70 years, I want to do something that's important. Lee McCarthy, NBC News, Boston. And that's NBC Nightly News for this Sunday. I'm John Palmer. Join us tomorrow morning for Sunrise and Today. And for all of us at NBC News, thank you and good evening.